These are 30 scary videos disrupting my soul. If you guys don't want your soul disrupted, then please just click the subscribe button. It's right there below. It'll really help out the channel. Just do it now. Hey, let's go. <gasps> Run, man. Go. Go. <laughs> Leave. Are you serious? What kind of haunted house is this? You have to crawl through the vents. Are you serious? <laughs> And then you come face to face with that evil looking purge clown. Event zombie. That's what's going on. That's what the cool kids are doing. Horror scary rooms. Oh no. Not today, man. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, Ron, look at Lee just freaked out. Just crawl home, man. Crawl all the way home. I would have punched that thing in the face. Uh-huh. Hit him with the patented KSI right elbow. Just boom. Do you notice something kind of off about this mannequin? Your face. For anyone who's familiar with the legend, she is known as La Pascualita. The mannequin has stood in the window of a Mexican bridal shop for more than 90 years, but when she was first placed there, patrons noticed something kind of strange. The detail work on this mannequin was unusual. She was noted with eyebrow hair, veins, and even discoloration around her mouth and ears. But that suspicion soon grew to horror as patrons started to notice that she bore a striking resemblance to the owner's deceased daughter, Pascuela. Pascuela was actually set to be married herself, but ended up dying in a tragedy before her wedding day. Shortly after her death, the mannequin appeared in the window and the legend was born that these were the preserved remains of the owner's daughter. But the most compelling evidence has always been the hands. The hands are shown with wrinkles, they have veins, they even have lifelike fingernails, which is unlike any mannequin I have ever seen. The question remains to this day, could this really be the shop owner's daughter? Yeah, yes it is. Look how realistic those hands are. Like it's literally got the little lines like like when you have these little lines on the thumb that ain't no dang mannequin that's a dang dead body dirt on the fingernail oh my gosh oh we're not going to this shop la popular no la casa de pasqualita oh you ain't mm -mm, no no she got them demon eyes them ghostly eyes sorry girl we ain't visiting your shop all right i don't care what you sell you guys sell cookies mm? hey help me No. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what? It took my daughter. Burger? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> gotta go, man. I'm sorry, we gotta go. Why don't y'all close your curtains at night? Close it like that, then you don't have to see this. That's bad. I don't know where you live to where like you got demon ghost women popping Hello. up. The worst thing I have is mosquitoes. <laughs> Like, come on. And you could just spray them with Raid and then they just, you know, plop down on the ground. Maybe we could spray her with Raid and then she'll plop down on the ground. See, you guys gotta start trying my methods, okay? Like, if you see a demon, shoot it, light it on fire, spray it with Raid. I mean, I, I guarantee you it'll work. You don't know until you try. Try it out. If I see this, I'll try anything. I mean, gee. Nah, because what the f*** is this? Your mama. This fell out of my burger. Thought it was mail until I seen it moving. What is this? That fell out of your burger? <laughs> what? Um, sir, I'm pretty sure it's a parasite. For a second, I thought it was one of your AirPods. <laughs> Look at that. Just starts moving like a dang caterpillar. Ugh. Yeah, don't touch it. Bro, if that falls out of your burger and is moving, don't ever go back to that burger joint ever again. Look at her face. I mean, dang, this girl can't believe it's not butter. She's just like, ugh. It's definitely a parasite. It's like an alien or something, man. I mean, it, you could sue. Sue the burger joint. I guarantee you'll get like half a million dollars or maybe more. Or just say Hakuna Matata and eat it. <laughs> Dang, just eat it, man. What's the worst that could happen? All right, yeah, I guess something worse can happen. What the? Oh, no. Gr girl, you better stay back. I will spray you with Raid. Ugh. Just the turn. It's just like the... Like, why do you turn like that? Girl, what is your problem? Can you hear me? You just gonna ignore me. Like all other girls in my life. <laughs> I mean, jeez. And you just gonna walk out of my bathroom and not even flush the toilet? Like rude? You didn't even wash your hands. You're disgusting. Jeez, <laughs> girl, how dare you? And you left the seat up. <laughs> girl, 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 come on now. You're getting cooked right now. Just walking out of the bathroom. What, what's wrong? We ran out of toilet paper? <laughs> jeez. You look crazy. I hope you know that, okay? I mean, uh, dang, you need some more makeup on your face. You look a little flushed. This is the creepy story about Afraid of the Dark. There was a young boy who was afraid, afraid of the dark. dark. Every night he would leave the lights out when he went to sleep. 
His parents got tired of this and told the boy he has to grow up. But the boy continued to sleep with the lights on. One weekend, his parents went on a business trip and left the boy home alone for the whole weekend. What? That night, the boy stayed up late and watched a scary movie. After he got done with the movie, he went to his room and read a scary story. But the lights were still on, so he didn't feel scared at all. The boy then fell asleep and woke up to the lights being off. He immediately got scared because he knew he left them on. He then heard a creepy giggle in the corner of his room. The boy then looked over and he couldn't move. Standing there was a creepy demonic looking woman just staring at the boy. When his parents got home a couple days later, they couldn't find their son anywhere in the house until they looked through his room. When his parents looked in his closet, they found their son's dead body hanging up in the closet like a coat on a hanger. Wait, wait, what? Are you serious? Uh... Well, don't watch scary movies and then read a scary story at night. And why the heck would the parents leave their son home alone all weekend? How old was he? Was he like nine years old? That's too dang young. And this girl was staring at you from the closet? Ugh. I mean, she kind of cute. I mean, dang, you know, I'm sure, like, if she just, you know, brushed her teeth or, like, got her teeth fixed, she'd be all right. Caught your boy hanging in the closet like a coat on a coat hanger? Uh, I hope that didn't actually happen, because, like, that's sad. If it's just a story and it didn't happen, it's kind of funny. But, uh, you know, if it actually happened, then my bad. You couldn't pay me enough to do this job. Oh! <gasps> Oh, ew, bro. You got cockroaches crawling on you all on your neck. Oh my god. Bro, do you really have to be down there? Like seriously, man, you can't power wash from the sidewalk. Just point it down and power wash it. Or why wouldn't you like call an exterminator first? You could literally call an exterminator, have him like drop a bug bomb, and then you go in there. All these dang cockroaches just crawling on your shirt. You're gonna have to take four showers. That's nasty, man. You really want to be the cockroach man. These roaches are having the time of their life. They're like, man, this is all right. Oh, it's all fun and games till one of them cockroaches start flying. Lying, mm -mm, man, it's over at that point. I don't trust you, man. I really, I, I don't trust anybody that allows roaches just to crawl on on their back. Ew. Something terrifying is happening to Maria. One day out of nowhere, she became very sick. But it isn't any illness we've heard of before. It's something much worse. This story is called Adult's Hellish Burial by Junji Ito, and the ending is crazy. The story begins with Maria's father looking out of the window in their house, thinking my worst fear has come to life. And it seems like he's referring to some kind of disease that's infecting people. And now it's gotten to his daughter. Then Maria asks her father what's the matter. And as he turns around, he sees Maria staring at him blankly. Her jaw hung open lifelessly, and her joints along her arms and legs are splitting. Her parents then remember something they heard on the news. There was a study by an organization saying this disease is called early onset doll's disease and it's spreading rapidly across the population. Maria's mother then hugs her, realizing that her daughter can now only stare back at her unable to move as her skin has solidified to a porcelain-like surface. But soon the situation got so much worse because the disease kept spreading. All over the world, parents decided to let their sick sons and daughters rest peacefully, if you know what I mean. Though Maria's parents were sure that they would never abandon her no matter what happened. But soon they would change their mind because one day they went to visit Maria again and what they saw shocked them. At this point, Maria had turned entirely into a doll, but still the disease would not let go. The most terrifying part is even as a doll, she kept changing until Maria's parents decided they could never let anyone see their daughter like this. Follow for more stories. Wait, what? Follow for more stories like that? Like dang disease doll stories? Are you serious? You got a dang disease that turns you into Pinocchio? It's a Pinocchio parasite. That really sucks. That is not the way to go. How did you contract this disease, girl? Were you swimming in like some nasty water? This is why I stay my black butt out of the ocean and out of like, you know, lakes and, and rivers and stuff because there's just parasites all up in there. Not today. You you ain't gonna get me. I'm sorry you were turned into a doll. You want water or something? You want some what? Wa wa you, you don't want water. Shame on you, girl at the bottom, for telling me these stories. Look at you. I'd have slapped the lipstick off your mouth. You ridiculous, okay? Yeah, I hope you know that. You ridiculous telling me these dang demon stories? Oh, uh, yeah, you ain't gonna do nothing. You, you don't sound Russian? How <gasps> could I sound anything, silly? I'm plastic. I don't Ew. even have a voice box. I had to borrow this one. Uh, Don't turn on the light. Girl. Uh, are, you, are you going to kill me? No! I mean, yes, but not for a good long while yet. I don't want you to go to waste. Then, uh, then, then w w what? Uh, then why are you here?
Wait, 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 why, why are you here? You have to finish the dang story. Oh, that's a problem. I mean, dang, if that demon looking girl just creeping through your door, peeking through your window, just peeking through the crack. I'll slam the door in your face real quick. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not just gonna let a demon talk to me for that long. <laughs> like, like, geez, have a full-blown conversation? N not today. You're gonna have to pay me for my time. Sorry, girl, you're just gonna be talking to me through the door like that. I'll grab the raid, baby. I'll grab the raid and that all up in your face. Spray ya. I hope you like cockroach spray. <laughs> I really want to see somebody get sprayed with raid, man. I want to see what happens. I want to see how this demons be responding to it. Maybe they'll eat it. Ugh. They'll just like be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're nasty, you're disgusting, you're a freak, and you need help. Now get out of my face. But yeah, go ahead, click on the screen and watch another one. Yeah, man.